It's time to look at the plumbing disasters, photos and videos that you send us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. But first, let's read out my fave comment from the last plumbing disasters. So ITS, the premier tool supplier, copied the comment from last week and said, just watched your video, disappointed. It was like watching an American plumber, just too over the top. To which Tazio replied, <laughs> like he was sat at a bar at Superhands' pub with a washing machine. That stays. You want a washing machine in the pub? It'll freak them out. What the f*** is the washing machine doing in a pub? Jesus, I need a drink. Fortunately, I speak fluent American, so I could go back to these two guys and prove my credentials. Let's get on with the plumbing disasters. <laughs> there is imagery of prosthetic elephant genitals in this video. In one, Jake Thomas, THFC, he doesn't smoke weed, sent us through this absolutely dreadful hashtag terror toilet. Look at those flexies on there. I bet the weight of those just with wee wees is really heavy, but imagine there's lots of big fat poos in there as well. Weighing down that pipe, absolutely disgraceful to see, Jake. Oh, thank you very much for sending that in. In two, Mitch Grove was called to a job where there was a very strange smell from underneath up decking. Well, he pulled up decking up and look what he found. The previous guys, the probably not plumbers, had just cut this massive hole in, didn't boss it or anything like that. Looks like they did it with Axor, didn't give a damn. Hopefully you've sorted that all out, Mitch Grove, and the smell of poo is no longer on you. In three. Now there's lots going on in A.MC Court underscore plumbing underscore heating's photo here. Hashtag Flexi Friday is going up to a hashtag rude rad. Then we've got some insane plumbing going on. Looks like we've got a washing machine tap going into the side of it. Also, I genuinely have no idea what is going on at the other end. Have they used a bath flexi connector to go into the other end of the radiator on that old school union? Who knows? But the thing I like the most is that it's completely protected from attack from the other side of the wall. Just like in Terminator 2 where I He's fighting off the T-1000. By the way, love the T-1000. Anyone who's dropped a big blob of solder on the floor and not said the words, Have you seen this boy? Ah! Needs to take a long, hard look at themselves. Sure, beautiful little bit of plum proud here from Evergreen Plumbing underneath. <coughs> Underscore Paul taking a leaf hopefully out of my book while I always install my pipe work in a cupboard on a bit of wood beforehand to make it nice and neat But he's even upgraded it by using Munson rings you filthy devil you oh in four. Andrew Walicki and sent us through this lovely photo of a really badly installed boiler. Obviously the pipes coming out of the floor are first fixed for a different boiler or they got it wrong or something. Found out later, hung the boiler up on the wall and then got it like this. Reminds me of those buskers who get loads of pipes together at different lengths and start hammering them with whiff-waff paddles. I mean it's alright for about 10 seconds guys but after that you're actually contributing to a lower footfall on the high street and that's not what we need going into 2023. And Fave. Sometimes plumbing goes wrong and Andy Odd 35 sent us through this lovely one of a little bit of a plant room that's had a little bit of water going into it from a leak. He didn't actually say what it was leaking from but I'm sure you fixed it now Andy. Now I was going to use some stock footage here from the amazing film Titanic where both of Kate Winslet put in a fantastic performance but this is the internet and people get triggered by the slightest thing and it could be construed as being disrespectful to the people who died in the disaster. So instead I've added some footage of a dog doing a shit. In six, Baz Rana 1989 was called out to a pipe being knocked. I mean, usually that doesn't really make much of a difference, does it? But look at this one here. Was this one of those plumbers who cut it just a little bit short, but the pipe looked out of vertical up against the other one when they put it in? So they just pulled it out as far as they dare and then popped some solder in there? God damn! Can't believe this held for so long. You can see how many times it's been painted. Great find, Baz Rana 1989. I love you. Got loads of time for this install from All Day Heating. Brilliant to see people learning our trade learning how to do it properly. There are a few little improvements and tweaks that can be done here, but you can see already the makings of a great plumber. Well done, All Day Heating. M7, Chris. David, before I start to learn how to use a 28 millimeter bending spring, could you top the barth up with hot water? Certainly, honey anything you see. See, this is what happens when you spend all your money on loads of candles and bubble bath and not on a great plumber. Great find here, Stefan. I love the fact that it looks like they've used old pipe insulation asbestos paste instead of silicon on the side of the bar. <laughs> what an absolute beast. In eight, everybody loves a bit of bond. Oh, that's closer range. Cut through solid metal. I will show you.
I'm sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Thanks for sending that in, Chris Plumbing. That's an 80 litre expansion vessel there. We've got a pinhole that's gonna go straight through Sean Connery's crotch. Another beautiful bit of college work from Outspoken Poets. We all remember those days in the bays and you had to install all this sort of stuff. Remember, plumbers, if you're out there working and all that, consider taking on an apprentice. And if you can't even do that, if you've got any nice radiators or bars or anything like that that you've got chucking out of a job, consider taking it down to your college because these guys need it to learn and practice. In nine, Gurpreet Kang found this little beast. Imagine going around trying to balance these slot up. You know what I mean? That radiator is going to take all oh, the flow from everywhere else but don't worry guys there is a way that you can balance this just grab a pair of pliers and grip that pipe up <laughs> In 10. Beautiful find here from Dan Pauly 85 Lovely little bit of hashtag Flexi Friday going up to a hashtag shonky shower. Love the fact that they've used strainers on this to protect this absolutely beautiful system, but this reminds me of something. I know it's the flux capacitor out of the film Back to the Future, which is essentially a film about incest and finding out that your dad is a pervert. He's a peeping Tom. In 11. I mean, you think everything's going normal with this hashtag terror toilet that Sean Mullaney sent in. But then you realise the flush pipe is actually a flexi and all the connectors that are getting it into there are absolutely bloody mental. In 12. So you may or may not have heard of the urinal test. The urinal test? The urinal test. God, am I American? It's very simple, guys. Which urinal would you use? Correct. Furthest to the right. What are you, a weirdo? What about this one here? Again, furthest to the right. It's got to be. I'm going to be standing in between them two. Don't only use those two ones there. You never know what might happen. Level three experienced, obviously straight in the middle there. Give yourself a bit of leeway to wiggle your elbows about. And then this is really hard. It's got to be one of the end ones though. Yay, look at that. Bang on, boy. And then, well, it's going to be, yeah, it's got to be middle, I guess. Anyway, that's got absolutely nothing to do with our next disaster, because look at this urinal. Firstly, got themselves a systemizer going up to that lovely little bit of office ceiling tile up there that's perfectly been cut away. But obviously, the main deal is here is we've got urinals on top. Urinals on top of the actual standard splash urinal. So even if you miss, it doesn't really matter. Always wonder why people do this. Well, they don't rip them out, do a proper job. They could have fit another urinal in there probably anyway. Thanks, Michael Rickett, for sending that in. Beautiful install sent in here by JK Plumbing and Eating. Nice to see a big fat accumulator on that to get some full on pressure going into the system. He also said it was a last minute move to put everything in this room by the architect and he had to work doubly hard to make it work. I think you'll all agree he's done just that. Top work, mate. In 13, J9T had a plumber in to just change the unvented cylinder and he came home to find all this in the loft space. The plumber said he would come back to tidy it all up. Now, I don't think the plumber's to blame here. This is obviously just a dreadful load of pipe work. And this is the first time Jay's been up in his loft to check it out. And a few of you noticed this on Instagram as well. So good that the plumber's going to come back and sort it. But I want to know where's it actually going. And that's right. This is the plumbing version of the Upside Down. And they're going all the way up to Vecna. Oh, Vecna, you nasty, nasty man. In 14, Hathaway 86 was called to a job where the plumber was so minted. Where the customer was replete with vast amounts of money. Where copper meant nothing. I could go around the houses to fit this lovely little shop shower. Actually, genuinely, why? Especially when they've had to do that little crossover there at the top. I mean, I don't get it, guys. Sometimes my brain just rattles with the feeling of complete insanity looking at the photos that you send us in every week. In 15, master. Times are genuinely hard for the people that Paul Kelly plumbers found, but equally, this could have just been a faulty meter replacement that the other plumber or the meter company or gas board completely forgot about and left a very happy customer, I should imagine, for a few weeks with some nice free gas. Makes me think about all the people out there saying that, oh, you got to stop burning your fossil fuels and all this sort of stuff because of climate change. Well, I tell you what, why don't you leave from the front and turn your gas off? then maybe I'll think about believing you. Whew! I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm just blown away by how good this is. MSC Plumber, you've sent us in quite a few photos of your work, mate, over the years. And I've gotta say, not one photo that you've sent us has been anything lower than tip-top quality work. Well done, mate. 
in 16. Look at this hashtag Flexi Friday hashtag Terror Toilet that Mitch underscore Clemo sent in. Please, everybody, there are other ways of doing this sort of work. It doesn't take that much. You just need the right fittings, that's all. So don't do whatever numb nuts did here. Get in the van, go to the suppliers, and find the right way of doing it. There is actually a right way. I just can't be bothered to explain it to you now. And I'm not going to draw you around the pictures because I can't be bothered. In 17, water pistols. Everybody loves a water pistol. Mark Thomas has made one using a small undersink expansion vessel, a valve. He's also got a nice little fill bit on the end there from the main so you can re-pump it up. I can see this being an incredibly popular toy down at my local gym. Don't ask why. In 18, genuinely don't know what the hell's happened here. Jasmo Racing 6 sent us through this one. This is a gas pipe. The, the leak was fixed using sellotape and when they pressure tested it, it actually held. Now this has just got to be a joke. It has to be. I'm expecting the plumber accidentally cut it and then the apprentice said, why don't we tape it up and just see for a laugh. When, I mean, please let it be that. Just please. Whoa, Cole Brothers Limited sent us this one in. What I really love about this, okay, I know you're going to say something about the tundish, dish, but that's life. But the fact they've spaced these clips up with their lovely little black spacer, I really like that. And I do love black clips on copper pipe. Very nice indeed. In no, 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 19 for you Paul Harcastle fans. Have you guys ever seen the film The Brothers Grimsby? Where Sasha Baron Cohen and Mark Strong, who I must say is very much a, a good actor, a thespian no less, I'd say, uh, hide inside the vagina of an elephant. Perfect Christmas viewing, guys, if you haven't checked it out already. I can't recommend Ali G in the house. The missus and I watched it last week, and I've got to say, it's not very good. I just don't get Martin Freeman's character. Very strange. Anyway, this whole thing just reminded me of this great photo that Waz MLK sent in. I mean, look how trunk-like that massive waist is. They always do this abroad. Now, if there's any of you guys watching from abroad, do they commonly go wrong, these? I mean, it's, I mean, what is going on here? How are you getting away with this sort of work? Because in England, we think that would get clogged up and heavy and be just a massive problem so let us know in the comments if you've got a problem with those all the time and in 20 some dog plumbing sent in by jet plumbing we've got it all going on here guys the cut pipe that's been fixed by a little bit of insulation tape the flexi fridays and of course everyone's favorite especially when you go there about 10 years after it's been installed but one of those macerator insincorator jobbies that get clogged up with lovely bits of greasy boo right in your nog nog it's the sort of job you just want to rip it all out and start again, put everything at the back so the poor customer can actually use the cupboard. We've got more plumbing disasters and plum prouds here if you enjoyed them, so go and watch those next. Also subscribe to the channel if you want more plumbing disasters and plumbing advice and DIY videos. Plus comment your saltiest comment below this video, I might read it out in the next plumbing disasters. Hit the like and I'll see you later. Ciao Bella!